scavenging site was cleared. We got everything there. And we're going to just recharge the ammo that we had to use. How did we get more exploration sites over here? now we get that now that I've already decided to activate that base but we may as well keep going that base does have a medical facility and a living quarter so we may as well have them rest there it's closer In the ruins, passing over a destroyed town, our operatives detected a weak light shining from the top of a building. It's possible that one or more survivors have turned the top floor into a shelter. Our operatives have found a survival survivor. Exhausted but otherwise hale, the individual in question escaped the destruction of a nearby independent haven some time ago and holed up here, waiting for creatures to move on. An experienced fighter, they would like to join the Phoenix Project. Uh, sure. And I guess, yeah, he's just on the ship. That makes sense. Another assault. Well, they are the pro arguably the most flexible class with the shotgun and assault rifle proficiencies by default. Yeah, I, I know he has no weapons. We'll try to fix this. And he only has the independent armor, which is not as good as the stuff that we could make. However... You never old rifles. And a grenade. And we need to get another med kit. In fact, we it, I know manufacturing them is instant. But we may as well manufacture a few because you know we're going to need them. Coming over to manufacturing armor. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, the Odin set is for assaults. So Odin armor, because it'll definitely be better than what he has, and we got, we'll probably we we'll, we'll keep his old set on hand for at least a while. We'll probably eventually scrap it, but it's definitely better than nothing if we find someone that doesn't even have that on them. Okay. And yeah, we're still kind of stuck if we keep heading out this way. I was hoping that that might reveal more, but new recruits still good. And then of course we have the undefendable, which is now getting in that range where I would really like to just go get it done. So yeah, we could go rest at this base, and if we didn't have the undefendable to worry about, I would probably do that, but let's head back in this direction. And we can check the new recruits and see if any of them are good. We only got one. A sniper. The trooper and farsighted proficiencies are pretty dang good for sniper because you end up with a sniper that can also use an assault rifle. And Farsight is just honestly pretty good for everyone. Plus two willpower and more perception. And then Sniperist is a willpower penalty, but you get extra damage. It's kind of, you know, win some, lose some there. But those are pretty solid perks. So let's see. Neither of the base, do either of the bases we currently have have a training facility. 
Yes, the Greenland base does, in fact, have a training facility. So, yeah, this, this screen you had it right the first time. She will be deployed to the Greenland base for training, unless the plane can hold another one. We'll check that. Transfer you out briefly. Okay, it can actually hold six. So, no, we should actually deploy her here because she can just start coming with us because why not so we get phoenix point recruit and now we need to try to get her equipped well we do have those synedrian pistols but I'd like to reverse engineer those, so here. One of them at least needs to go towards the reverse engineering. Grenade launcher technology sounds nice. Need to know more about Synedrion, and yeah, Haven Trade Protocols can be pretty useful, especially later on when you have if you have too much of one resource and not enough of another. You know, the things trade's good for. Okay, we are going to kick. The grenade launcher tech. No, we're not gonna wait, 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 wait. Start that research. I wanted to make that a higher priority. Yeah, make that a higher priority. And Sinadrion, because that and the reverse engineering. Yeah. And then put poison worm back at the top of the queue because that only has four hours to go. Yep, okay. So we will be doing the poison worm autopsy because we're so close to it being done. Then reverse engineering the laser pistol. Then learning more about Sinatrian, who we met significantly later than the other two factions. Then grenade launchers. And then more autopsies. And then Haven Trade Protocols at the end of all that. So looking at what we have... Yeah, that did take the pistol that it needed for the reverse engineering. So you're free to use this one. At least for as long as we have ammo for it. We won't know how to manufacture more until the reverse engineering is done. And you're going to need this because we're going to make you a sniper rifle. And here's the med kit. Then pop over to manufacturing. We now need another Firebird, which is our sniper rifle. And we will need sniper armor, which is the Banshee set. And that's all going to take a while. So until we actually get her armor and a sniper rifle, she's going to stay here. <laughs> So honestly, I probably should have had her go to the Greenland base. Maybe we can drop her off there. We're going to be heading in that direction. And yeah, unfortunately not. Not for a while. Not until the Greenland base has had some time to scan and reveal more stuff. So probably by that point, she'll just be with us anyway. So she can just hang out here. But yeah, if I'd stopped to think like, hey, we're going to have to make equipment. I probably should have just put her in the base that had a training facility. Anyway, we are going to stay here and let these guys heal for a bit. Research complete. Yeah, poison worm autopsy. It explodes with poison if you let it get too close. Doesn't really say anything beyond that, despite the wall of text. Yes, I know, building more research labs would be good, but you haven't given me very many bases that I could even potentially activate that have free ones, and I know I'm going to need these resources to equip more soldiers and to activate more bases when we get down to here, so 
building more research labs and such right now, I don't think is actually the wisest course of action. Maybe I'm wrong. Not exactly an expert at this game, but... Oh, we're starting to get another missed outbreak here. So what base would be closest to that? Well, we have that base there. And then this one, which honestly, both of those are kind of far away. And then, of course, the one that we just activated, which might actually be one of the closest. At least that one's relatively close to us. And then you have more mist over there, so we really need to get over into North America. How's the manufacturing going? Getting there. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Oh, and even more stuff. But the crew is fully rested and healed. So let's check. You at least arrived with basic armor. And you have a weapon here. Have the better helmet. And, yep, that's going to be the best we can do for you for now. But you're coming with, because an extra gun's still helpful. We're going to go defend that haven, and then we're going to do the undefendable. Or we're going to rest if we need to, and then do the undefendable, because that is getting urgent at this point and then we're gonna start exploring around up here these two unexplored areas and try to just get all of the havens and then we might if we can get a bit closer to this base we might see about reactivating that base to try to get more coverage on this side of where this mist is eventually going to be spreading so i don't think this particular base is actually going to help all that much because if like well i mean Looking at the full range. Yeah, it might help a bit, actually. Does it have anything in it that actually would make it worth... I mean, no, not really. Honestly, I think these two bases would cover it pretty well. Anyway, Haven. So this is one of the ones where we have to defend key structures. So instead of trying to find civilians and evacuate them, we're trying to defend any of the structures that have a health bar. Which unfortunately in Disciples of Anu settlements tend to be chaotically placed around the map. So we're mostly just going to be running around and trying to take out all the enemies as fast as we possibly can. Because that's usually the best way to deal with it. Let's have a look. All right, new guy. Let's see how you do. Pretty well. All right, let's see if Glacier finds anything. If we just send him out. Here's a little trick. No. No, he did not. Proceeding.
I'm going in. On my way. Okay, yep, you see an enemy over there. So let's just get you into a position where hopefully you can fire at it next turn. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a very good shot. Let's just work on getting you in closer. Let's go! a grenade that they can maybe get in there. Unfortunately, these guys don't anymore because shotguns. Although the shotgun might also just be useful here. Why not? Because freaking shields. actually can do the grenades back that you had in your backpack so whoops Come get some. that's a better shot and that one should just bleed to death fortunately I've kind of put you in a position where oddly enough you can't see those things so Let's just get them if they walk up onto the conveyor belt. You got a decent shot on any of those. Actually, you have a halfway decent shot on him, so why not? Very nice. Okay, really wish that would go boom if we shot it. Let's get you over here a little bit and see if that's enough to give you some... It is! Right on target! <laughs> Anything that moves, dies. have Glacier head this way to try to help out over here. Let's get this there's definitely combat happening. Fair bit of combat, actually. Uh, of course they're not quite both within range. Back up a little bit and make them chase you. If it really goes sideways, you can always jump back, but we'll see. Nice. 
okay, they're gonna prioritize the structure, so Glacier's free to just pop around and shoot at them. Well, that's a lot of mist. Glacier's definitely in the most interesting situation right now. Round. Shoot him. <laughs> Take that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna send the rookie off in that direction, I think. That would be the best way. Samples of Anu bases are always such a maze. Let's go there. And unfortunately, Sniper can't get a good line of sight on him, so... Send in the assaults. Heal yourself up. You got pretty hit there. And start heading towards Glacier and your fellow defender who is currently in a nasty situation in some mist. Lazy, you're just going to start booking it in that direction. was dazed and decided to just run around. That one apparently was not taken out by the Disciples of Anu Defender over there, so that ended poorly for them. And now they're shooting at the rookie. Oh! Hey, sure. Gonna need you to drop. Run over there. Really? That I figured you'd have an action left after that. I thought you would have enough actions to bash that thing. Of course, I misread the frickin' movement because I thought it was three action points and it was four. Great. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. I don't think the rookie or anyone else is going to be able to get over there in time. I really wish that it was like blue and then like I wish the last action point, the fourth action point was red or something, any other color. Just to indicate it's your last one. And make it a bit more distinct. Relocating. Now that freaking strangler is going to get all its health back. Not to mention that Glacier is in a bad situation. I'm going in. Yeah, your overwatch is not going to help here, so let's just continue on and try to get people. They can't stop me. Yeah, they can't, but this dang maze of a base can. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, please go for the rookie. I would very much prefer to lose him to Glacier. Okay, decide to hit and run instead of just hitting you a lot, Glacier. So, better than I thought it would go, frankly. Rookie. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a good assessment, but shoot it and you'll be fine. Okay, didn't get any good loot, unfortunately, but we did, of course, get the materials and the attitude boost. The disciples of Anu have appraised your excellent progress with hierarchy and are willing to share some of their secrets. Tiamat development. While appearing to be a piece of technology, the Anu dirigible is part machine and part living organism. Based on the design of a pre-plague airship, the disciples of Anu have enhanced their version, making it more durable and efficient. The ship can sustain heavy damage while transporting a squad of eight soldiers to any desired location. Speed and maneuverability are considerably lacking though. The craft makes up for it with its storage capacity and range. So, slow, but it'll get a lot of soldiers to wherever you need them to go. I seem to recall that I'm mostly, in the campaign I got a little further, that I mostly used either the Tiamat if I needed a full group, or whatever the Sendarian one is called, which can only hold like five soldiers, but goes really quickly. Just depending on like, are we just exploring or are we raiding a nest or something? Disciples of Anu Equipment. The Exalted teaches that while the Pandora virus was sent by the dead god, it is not to be worshipped. The Pandoran Plague, sometimes referred to as a Great Flood, is a punishment for humanity's sins and an opportunity for self-improvement. And fighting the Pandorans is an essential part of humanity's path to a better future. That is why the Disciples of Anu have developed their own equipment to instill pride and faith among its warriors. So I guess we just got like a bunch of stuff that we could maybe research. And now we know where that nest is. Blessed are those who seek transformation. But to seek alone is not enough. Neither is to speak. For these were the ways of the false gods of old, who drowned in the flood that Anu commanded. To be initiated further into the sacred teachings of the Exalted, you must show that you will act on behalf of humanity. Not merely the humanity that was, but the humanity that will be. There are some who still cling to the sins of the old world. Even now they are consumed by greed, thinking that if they hoard enough, they will survive the coming changes. These brigands have attacked many of our havens, and those of others also. Let the judgment of the dead god fall upon them. Yeah, sure, they're bandits. We'll cast out the heathens. Let the pain they have visited upon others be returned unto them tenfold. As your reputation improves with a faction, it will occasionally share some of its unique research with you. You will still need to do some research on the shared items in order to fully understand them. Shared research is indicated in the research screen by the logo of the faction that shared it. Okay, it's not timed, but our relationship with the Disciples of Anu won't go any higher until we've done that quest. So it is a priority. Construction complete. Okay, the rookie did a great job, but he's also very, very wounded. So after we get him leveled up, we should probably let him rest. 
and also get our secondary ammo back. And the grenade. For you yet and yeah the answer is we're still working on the armor for the other guy okay so gabriel after ah we forgot to assign skill points Jeez. okay we're waiting until you get your next level you're kind of in the same boat You actually have enough that, like, you're only going to be taking ready for action at your next level, so you can go ahead and spend some of this. I'm going to say more strength. And lazy, like I said, Master Marksman is not one that... I mean, it's nice, but... It's not super critical. So we can just work on getting you some more willpower. And Gabriel. Well, he could get sniper rifle proficiency, though it would eat into his willpower. And don't get me wrong, sniper rifles are nice, but they're also kind of situational. And then Strongman would give him heavy weapon proficiency. And I do think some of the heavy weapons that you get later are a bit better than the Phoenix one you have by default. But until I confirm that, I'm not super keen on them. They're kind of tricky to use. Biochemist is pretty solid, though, especially for an assault. But yeah, dash and whatnot, don't really care. And by the time you get return fire, you're going to get a lot more SP just because you leveled up. So let's get you at least enough willpower that you're in the double digits. And then some more strength. And just hold on to the rest of that. And we are going to leave you here to heal. And just probably send these guys on once they're healed. <laughs> 